Saldors enables inserting bounding box feature directly into your 3D model. This bounding box, however, is not selectable. So you cannot select the entities of this bounding box in order to create dimensions, reference geometry, etc. It, however, inserts custom properties for bounding box length, width, thickness and volume. The following macro allows converting the bounding box into the selectable sketch. So you just need to run the macro. If bounding box exists, it's going to use that bounding box, otherwise it's going to create a new one. So you can see, now all of the edges of this bounding box are selectable. So we can create a reference geometry, such as plane. We can also modify created 3D sketch in order to add driven dimensions. Those dimensions can be later used in equations, custom properties, sensors, etc. Bounding box feature adds the custom property with the volume value, but there is no custom property for area. So let us add the equation which is going to calculate the area of this bounding box. I'm going to add global variable and call it bbox area. Now I simply need to multiply each dimension on each other to calculate the areas of each side and then just make a sum of those values and multiply them by 2. Let me also add the sensor which is going to react to the value of bounding box length. For that I'm just going to select dimension from the sensor type, select the dimension I'm going to watch, so in my case let's select this one, and just going to check the alert box and specify which value I'm going to watch for. So if the value is greater than 280, I want that sensor to show me the alert. Now let's modify one of the dimensions in order to test our sensors and our area calculation. You can see that bounding box has been updated. You might need to rebuild your model in order to regenerate a sketch to fit the bounding box. I'm just going to run rebuild command. So you can see our alert has been raised because our value is now over 280 millimeters, which we specified, and also our bounding box area has been updated. You can download this macro by following the link in the description of this video. Thank you for your time.